Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Just FYI before we start today's video, this is gonna be a slightly different format than usual. I am so, so busy with moving apartments and just everything in life getting in the way that I can't edit a video today. So this will be like a long haul unedited, sort of almost like, a, call it like a podcast, right? Like I'm not gonna edit this thing, I'm just gonna put it out as it is because I really wanna make a video today. I really wanna give you content every single day. I'm committed to making a video every day of 2022, but today it's just, uh, I got a lot going on, okay? So today we're having a look at the Brute Warrior and Master Chief 2-pack, which is quite old at this point, but hey, this is one of the best sets ever made, like the best value for money on any characters that we've ever seen, particularly the amount of painted weapons, which is unrivaled to any other set apart from its predecessor, the Master Chief versus Arbiter. Like that was an incredible set too and came with some dope weapons. This is the spiritual successor. I've been talking recently about how a lot of sets have spiritual successors, whether it be the Chopper Takedown following the Banshee, whether it be the Mongoose following the Ghost. Like we've had a lot of sets that sort of revise similar ideas, even similar packaging. And this is the same as the Master Chief versus Arbiter. I love everything about this set, particularly the fact that uh, this is just called Pistol because we didn't know the name of a sidekick pistol yet. It was just uh, very mysterious when this first came out. We were like, what is this gun? And there's a lot of like, look at that, just pistol, rifle, uh, pistol. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, confusion or there's a lot of uh, lack of information, lack of uh, stuff coming out from the company. We've also got gorgeous packaging with the Halo ring. Yes, we've got another grassy field and I've actually just noticed that you can see the legs extending down from the characters into the packaging, which is pretty dope. I've never actually seen that before. never noticed it. We got two great base plates. These are essentially Halo heroes. They're definitely Halo heroes in terms of quality and paint applications. So it's really dope to have these. And my big question is where is the next version of this? Like I would love a Master Chief versus, gosh, versus uh, any of the bosses from Halo Infinite, particularly uh, Chak 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 Chakra or whatever it's called, the guy in the tower. I would love to see the Master Chief versus him. Looks like this packaging is already flapping open, so I'll just do the rest of it proud. Whoa, there we go. That exploded out. Let's check out everything that we've got in this parcel. And I wanna thank you as always for the support on the channel. We have clocked 2,850 new subs just in the last 28 days, which is quite extraordinary, like really, really cool. And I do apologize that this video is not edited, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. And I, I mostly apologize for all of the breaths that you'll hear. I usually crop out my breath. That sounds weird, but like anytime I like inhale, I usually crop that out. So you're just gonna have to deal with that today because I got a really sensitive microphone. So that's that's just how it is. Here's an instruction manual for things that are already pre-built. You know, you know how it goes but we're mostly interested in what's inside this package. We don't care about the instruction manual. We've also got a little bag with all of the goodies that, you know, would have just fallen out of the set. You saw how it was flapping open. There's so much in this little box, so much. And I got this from, uh, where was it? Best Buy for $4, which if you ask me, $4 for this is dumb. Like it's actually dumb. And I think you can still get it for $4. Maybe it's gone up a little bit, but you can still get it from Best Buy for like $4. I got it in my Best Buy hunting video, which was actually like a really fun one. We were going and buying Halo Heroes and this was just on the shelf. And I just, I was like, why not? Why not just get this as well? So we got the Master Chief looking really beautiful with that 117 very clearly. And this guy has a lot of battle damage. It's a big question in the community, which is your favorite Halo Infinite Master Chief? It's also a shame that most of this Master Chief is cobbled together from other Master Chiefs from other games. Like this is not all new molding for Halo Infinite, but that's a tangent. I still absolutely adore this figure. And I would like you to comment down below, which is your favorite Master Chief that we've had in Halo Infinite so far? I go back and forth, but I really do like the Defense Point Showdown, like Muddy Boots Master Chief. I think that one is great. So weathering and battle damage is all over this guy. Like he's, but it's also like the perfect amount of weathering, right? Because we've got things like Fire Team Osiris and Blue Team where the weathering is horrible. Like it's way too much. Like this is a guy who was floating in space for six months and a guy that is like just trying to survive on Zeta Halo. So I respect it. 
We got the Master Chief there, and then the Brute Warrior. I particularly love, I mean, you know me, I love Banished Red, but there's a lot of subtle colors here that you might miss on your first view. For example, this belt has a lot of different tones. It's got a silver, it's got a dark sort of brown and red. And then this chest piece is fantastic. There's no detailing on the back, but there doesn't really need to be. And we've got really nice red wrist attachments. Like this is a highlight. They A lot of these brutes actually have daggers. This one is one of the only ones I believe with colored daggers. So that's a great feature. And just in general, this brute is, is top notch. Even you look at his legs, a lot of Mega Constrix figures, they just have one color for each piece of the limb, which is still fine. It's nice that most of them have different colors for two parts of the limbs, but this has way more than that. Like, look at that. Look at just this one piece. Like this leg has a pale skin tone. What was that? Oh my, did you just throw a sock? I thought that was like a rat, dude. I thought that was like, a small animal that freaked me out man wow um, anyway the leg tone is it's a pale skin color and then it's also got this red and silvers so just a lot of detail and i always respect good colors on my figures like i'll always shout it out the brute warrior and master chief are fantastic fantastic figures and when you think that these are two dollars each like wow Sign me up, man, that's awesome. Then we've got all the weapons, and let me tell you, these weapons are something else. We got uh, just the grenades that aren't colored, which is totally fine. We've had some good colored spike grenades in the past, but not today, and it's nice that both characters get two grenades each. The Master Chief holds those grenades very tightly. I would love for some uh, sort of attachment feature for grenades in the future, so you could have them on his leg, but then that always means that you've got some kind of like little stub that's always there if you've not got a grenade attached. Then the spike grenades, they've never been remolded. They've always been the same for like 10 years, but they don't need to be. And the fact that they've come back in Halo Infinite is a really cool return to form. Like I love spike grenades. I love baiting people into a room with spike grenades. Like I love everything about it. Grenades down, we're gonna look at the weapons, and there are some good weapons, let me tell you. They are all colored. We've got a scope for on the assault rifle, and we will start with this assault rifle. I love it. Like, look at that. Look at the number of colors. Look at the way it reflects light. We've got blacks, we've got dark grays, we've got silvers, and they all work in perfect harmony together. The energy sword is basic, but it's also interesting that we return to this mold of the energy sword. Throughout Halo 5 Guardians, at least, we had a jagged, more, more sort of a sharp and menacing energy sword, and then we went back to this one. In fact, we've had both kinds of energy swords recently, uh, like in the Builder's Box, we had this one as well. And with the Halo Heroes Elite Warlord, we had a colored version with a nice tip. So, or not a tip, a base to it. That, that was quite nice. So this energy sword is like, obviously the most forgettable thing about the set, but that's okay. A lot of people compliment this sidekick pistol. This is the only colored sidekick pistol we have right now. So yeah, when you think about colored weapons, they are pretty rare. You only get them in Halo Heroes, really, and the very odd exception. So to get them all in one set is so crazy. Like, it really is. And this Gravity Hammer is another great exception. I think the main theme of this set, and they've definitely chosen a color scheme of silvers and grays, right? And this Gravity Hammer is... Fantastic. Like, Mega Constructs actually, I think one of the most frequent uh, painted weapons in Mega Constructs is the Gravity Hammer. We've had some crazy ones, and it's probably because they're always included with Halo Heroes, but some really quality figures and we but some really quality weapons have come out of the last few years with Mega. So the Gravity Hammer, Silvers and Greys, basic, but like the choice of where the Silvers go are really special. Like, I like it a lot. Then we got the shock rifle. It would have also been nice, and that's also, it's me being a bit, uh, uh, what would you say, greedy. It would have been nice if there were some muzzle flares in this as well. The muzzle flares really need to make a return. They haven't been in recent sets, which is a shame. There's our Craigy boy. I almost forgot to mention dear Craig. How could I? But yeah, I'm also happy that the Banished Garrison pack comes with a non-Craig head mold, which is a pretty cool step. Like, uh, it's time to move on from the meme, you know what I mean? So this shock rifle, really great. And the shock rifle uh, muzzle flare has come in in a couple of sets. It's just a blue flamethrower piece, but it also works. 
It, when you actually use the shock rifle in game, you're like, okay, that doesn't really make sense, but it's still fine. The Master Chief with that assault rifle and sidekick are really, really nice. Really nice. And then the last one I've got to talk about is the Mangala. This has a rotating drum, and my favorite part about it is the little bit of scratching battle damage at the front. Like, that's a really dope feature and something I think most people wouldn't even notice. The rotating drum is great, and it's also cool how there is some colors on each of the, uh, what would you say, the loading drum? Like, each of the slots of the loading drum, it all just comes together in a fantastic set. The base plates are quite basic, basic base plates, but they have a nice, like, uh, what would you call it, glassing effect to it. There is a lot of different colors there, and I respect that. It's not just plain green. This one is more plain red but there are a couple of highlights. I imagine they're all different, so maybe some people have some really cool red base plates. If we position our Brute and our Master Chief, we can see that this is like the two-pack of the century. Of course, the Master Chief and Arbiter is probably more uh, desirable for most because, you know, it has the Arbiter. But I really love this one. It was a great introduction to Halo Infinite, and if you can still grab this at Best Buy, I could not recommend it higher for $4. Like, $4 is crazy for this. It's the best value you could get right now. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was a strange video, like I said, but I gotta prioritize things and I don't have any more time for videos today. I wanna give a quick shout out to our Discord. We're gonna be doing some massive changes and when we hit 2,000 uh, followers or, you know, subscribers, I guess, to the Discord, we're gonna do a really great giveaway. So head on over to the Mega Constructs Domain Discord right now. That is the place to be. We're gonna be changing it, revamping it in the next month. So that's really exciting. So you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to like and comment down below. Uh, January is a rough time for content creators and my ad revenue is gonna be slowly decreasing because simply companies don't buy as many ads in January after Christmas. So if you could help prioritize this video by liking and commenting, that would really help me out a ton considering this is now my full-time job. So shout out to you all, you stay awesome, you stay safe, and the Master Chief and Brute Warrior are signing off. Whoa, there they go. <laughs>